So we just got over here to Hill Street. Gonna take a quick peek and see what Owen and Johnny are up to. Yeah. All right, we're, uh, Owen's getting the fascia on over here. It's looking pretty good. We got a nice little reveal across the top there. And uh, we're just gonna keep that all the way around best we can. It's kind of tough, the existing here sticks up quite a bit higher. So we'll have a little transition point, which we're gonna cut that off flush with the building, run our fascia all the way in, and it'll have like a slight jog to it. But other than that, I'm, I'm happy with this deck. It's all uh, solid and uh, looks really good. So the guys did a good job here and Things are moving in the right direction. So these guys are getting their last bit of their fascia up all the way around. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> the front's pretty much done. It's all, uh, all the hardware's on, all that stuff. Looks good. She did the top, the roofer's gonna come do his thing on top. And then uh, next next up here will be uh, railing. So we'll be uh, putting some railing up. And once we get that metal cable railing, this thing's gonna look really nice. It'll be a real nice finished product. And this one will be in the books. We're gonna head back over to Anthony's place. Um, we were working on that about a week and a half ago and uh, we ran into some additional items that the insurance didn't um, account for. So we had to stop and get those guys back involved with it and see if we could get him an addendum to his insurance claim. Um, there were some additional things that the adjuster didn't catch. So we're going to go check that out and see how the guys are doing over here. All right, let's take a look at what we have going on here and see if we can't uh, figure this out. Okay, so we got all our framing done here. Everything's framed out to the right size. This is the old window, which we discovered was damaged. So right now, just for temporarily purposes, we're going to reset this window back in the hole. So he's got a, his window for now until these are like 12 weeks out to get ordered. So we're gonna go ahead and put all this back together, uh, run new Tyvek and Bitchathane and get the window set back in the hole. And we should be uh, we should be looking good over here. And then later, when the window comes back, we'll slide this one out and replace with the new one. We're on our way up to the village. We got the excavator being dropped right now. Mike and Brian are up there. We're going to. Um, dig these trenches our USA has cleared it cleared yesterday I'm gonna dig all these trenches for the gas line and the new um, relocation of the electrical panel so that's gonna be what we're working on today maybe a little bit tomorrow we'll see how, how it goes So much work going on in this town right now. I've never seen as much work going on the entire time I've been up here as I've seen this year. I mean, we've got a hotel project going here. We've got one over here. There's another one slated for back here. Um, they're just, the hospital is doing a huge 
upgrade to their facility. I mean, there is just stuff going on everywhere. Just everywhere. All right, these guys just made it with the Mini X here. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, easy on the sticks there, Turbo. Turbo stick. All right, so we're back over here. We got the machine here. Power's there. The idea is locate the uh, line that goes to right there and then trench gently beside it and relocate the new new electrical panel back there in the corner. So that's for the gas line. And kind of swing it right through there. Come around. It's going to be a little tight fit right here, but I think we can get through there. And uh all the way around up to the corner of the house there. All right, we got everybody kind of lined out over here for their digging. Those guys are over there figuring out the propane area. And then we already went over this electrical swap out. So I'm gonna get on down to the shop and I was supposed to talk to Dan this morning about those plates. He had a question. So we're gonna head over there next. Let's go see Dan. He had some questions on the plates, hoping uh, all is well, but we'll find out right now. There's my spiffy new truck that I bought for $3,000. It needs an engine, which I have an engine for it. Just so happen to have that. It's got that nice bed, that cool bed on the back, which uh, that's the reason I got the truck. Let's go see what Dan's up to. I see that he's welding. Still plugging away on that rebar. What a job. Oh, wow. That's the remnants of a lot of welding. Got the fan going. Looks like all he's got left are these. Yeah, these things have some substantial welds on them. And then they've got this rebar sticking out. Never seen anything quite like these um, designed for a building. It's uh, really insane what they've got going on with this. But uh, I think we got it figured out. So we're going to take that truck that I was just talking about down to Bakersfield and do the motor swap on it. But we have another one up here, the same truck that had a radiator issue. So um, Clayton's going to pull the radiator out of this one for now, since we have a donor truck down there that has a radiator. Um, we don't need the one that's in this one. And we have a truck up here that's broken down. We're going to, uh, so there's some of the parts that was for the truck. It's definitely a well-worn truck, but, uh, I just really like that bed and it's four wheel drive. It's got all that. And I know it used to belong to Brent, so I know it was it was well taken care of for um, most of its life. Yeah, these are this is a really neat, nice bed. That's honestly so that slides out. I'm not sure where it's hanging out. 
not supposed to slide out. Oh yeah. And it's got the fuel cell, so that's cool. That one's locked. That one's locked. Huh. Well, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get this thing uh, back on the road and that feels good. Not like the other one we had where the steering wheel was about ready to fall off. It's got trailer brake on it. It's a cool truck. And it needs a little elbow grease. I mean, for $3,000. That bed, you couldn't get that bed for $3,000. And the bed's actually in good shape. It's not beat up. The tailgate, a little bit. It's a little bit rough. But it's a work truck, so... There you have it. All right, we're uh, heading back south for the weekend, but I've got a special treat for you guys up in Aspendale, which is um, down to Bishop and then off to the right here. We've got a house that we're working on up there and Zach is down there right now. They're pulling wire. So, we're gonna pop in there and check on those guys and uh, see how that project's doing. Pretty neat how those clouds all kind of hang at a the same exact elevation, just making a line across the sky there. That's uh, very interesting. They're like flat on the bottom. And I'm not sure, I think the heat causes that, like the heat rising up from the ground Maybe somebody in the comments can let me know, but um, it's pretty neat. All of them are all puffy on top and they're like flat on the bottom. The lake is uh, like glass. Not too much wind going on today. I see some boats out there fishing. I see quite a few. Beautiful time of year to be up here. down the grade here and then we're gonna head up that way towards Aspendale so we're actually gonna get up probably about halfway three-quarters of the way up up to where that snows at what a view heading up into Aspendale here Wow spectacular These rock formations are pretty spectacular as you get up here towards the top. made it and what a spectacular place this is there's a campground right over here I'll show you on the way out I just had to have my map on because it was going nuts but here's the project right here that's a pretty spectacular house I must say so here's the view from the deck Wow, this is pretty spectacular. There's that waterfall we were just looking at. It's got a house li literally right next to it. I mean, imagine that sitting out on your back deck, watching that water. Look at that, that is, that is just awesome. It's just coming right out of the mountain there.
Yeah, so this is right out the back back door here. Pretty steep mountain right behind him. I don't know about that for avalanche, but this house is just insane. Beautiful house. So I had never been up to this little community here. And it's the Aspendale area. This is um, called something else right here where we're at. I forgot what it was. There's a nice lot. I would love to build up here. This is where I'd want to live. It's off the path. It's super quiet up here. There's uh, wait till you see this creek. I'm going to show you guys this creek that runs right through the campground up here. There's some very nice homes here. It looks like uh, it's uh, definitely not a bad place to be. It's only 79 degrees here and it was like 90, 97 or eight down in Bishop. So we're all, and we're almost to the top here, guys. You can see, and I see a waterfall right over there coming out of the mountain, right there. You see that? And that is beautiful. I mean, beautiful. What a, and this little campground here, I'm definitely going to come try it out. It's just, uh, it looks kind of like they almost have like some permanent residents in here, but um, just a little. This is like my speed right here, definitely. Here's the creek I was talking about with the little bridge. Look at that little, little log shanty. That thing's definitely all original maybe the door is not uh, I just this this right here is perfect A little seating little campsite right there by the river I mean 100% I'm definitely gonna come up here and spend a weekend up here definitely gonna do that <clears throat> Zach said to go check this other job that he's got going up here too it's where uh, we rented a forklift to the guy some pretty impressive rock formation here Well, we made our quick little pit stop and we are headed back down the hill. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little detour up to this area. If you haven't ever been up to this Aspendale area, west of Bishop, up in the Sierra Nevadas, you've got to check it out. This is just a beautiful area, literally about 12 miles out of Bishop and you're up to 8,500 feet elevation and it's literally 15 degrees cooler. Just amazing, an amazing place up here that I've never really got to explore. We're definitely gonna be coming back here this summer. So stick around and look for that video. a climb back here it's a very fast climb up to this altitude as you can see you can see the valley way below about 10 miles out that's Bishop you climb right up to that 8500 elevation quickly go drop down into Bishop hope you guys enjoyed the trip we'll see you on the next one